Hey and welcome to Toby's Blogs. Today I thought I'd talk to you about where I've been for the last couple of months. Well, I've been doing a bit of this. And a bit of this. And a bit of this. Yes, so if you haven't guessed it, I've been on holiday. I went for a three week holiday to the gorgeous, stunning, absolutely wonderful location of the Balkans. Now, I don't know what the Balkans is, the Balkans is Yugoslavia. And if you don't know what Yugoslavia is, because you're too young, then it is Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Montenegro. I hope I got that right. Um, anyway, I went to all of those places anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, went to the absolute gorgeous stone location of Croatia. It was amazing, it was gorgeous. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. I haven't been to many places, but yes, it was the most beautiful country I've ever been to um, so far. It was absolutely stunning. It's just wonderful. There's, there's national parks, gorgeous waterfalls, stunning cave systems. Um, wonderful history. It's just such a beautiful place. And of course, it's the home of Game of Thrones. Um, well, most of it's filmed there, King's Landing and stuff like that. And it's just absolutely stunning. Started off in the wonderful Dubrovnik. Um, absolutely stunning, beautiful little city. So very quaint. The old city is like really, really small and in, in um, a nice, compact, really old walk around the city walls. You can, um, and there's lots of quaint little shops and to go in the restaurants, walk through all the alleyways and stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. I would go back there in a shot. It is just such a beautiful location. So beautiful, unbelievable. Um, and you can go to the island of La Crom, which is a stunning location. Mm. <laughs> Things happened on La Crom, uh, which I don't really particularly want to go into. Dearly me. Yes, dirty things happen on La Crom. Well, I didn't realise there were a nudist beach for a start. And then I didn't realise I was on a gay nudist beach um, until someone started having sex in front of me. You know, me, I was having a good look. So oh, it was weird though, cause I didn't realise it was there. And I thought, a nudist beach. I thought, okay, I'll go nude and go around the nudist beach nude. And I thought, that's fine, everyone else is nude. We're just being nude, we're just being naturists, we're just being natural, you know. And then it turned out that uh, it was a gay nudist beach. And then I thought, oh God, then people are looking at me and they want to have sex with me. And I was like, oh no. It's like, no, that changes everything. I was like, I didn't feel, I didn't feel happy about that. That people, instead of looking at me like a natural body, they were looking at me in a sexual nature, they want to have sex with me. And I'm sure a few people there want to have sex with me. And my partner, and my partner was there too. And this couple just came, sat by us and started having sex in front of us. And I was like, hmm, this is nice. Oh, this is a nice treat. But apparently they came and sat next to us because they wanted to have sex with us. And I thought, oh no. And they were nice, good looking, everything, really hot, and it was really fun action going on there. I was like, mm -hmm. But yeah, no. no, I can't be swinging. I didn't go there for that, that's the problem. I came to La Crom for a beautiful, wonderful stunning location, which it was, it was gorgeous. Um, Game of Thrones was filmed there, it's actually a beautiful island, gorgeous, but I didn't realise that we were stumbling into a gay nudist beach. Well, people having sex. And that's La Crom, anyway, that's La Crom. Gorgeous place, go, would go back there in a shot. I would go back to all these places in a shot, it's this gorgeous place altogether. Dubrovnik, they went to do the Tristo Arboretum. Absolutely gorgeous location. It was the place where they filmed most of the, uh, the King's Landing garden scenes. It's just absolutely brief. You walk through the Tristo Arboretum and you just feel like you're in Game of Thrones. You just feel like you're in Westeros. Most of these places in Croatia you walk around, you feel like you're in Westeros. You feel like you're in Westeros. And it was absolutely stunning. I was so excited. I'm a Game of Thrones fan. I love Game of Thrones. Going to King's Landing, um, standing on the walls where they stood, looking at the things that they looked at, 
and it actually feels like you're in Westeros. Like if you're a Game of Thrones fan, go to Croatia. It makes you feel like, oh my god, I am in Westeros, I am here, oh my god. And you just like, fan out completely and it's like, mm, it's exciting, it, it's really good, you should go, it's fantastic. Um, what was I talking about? On the Tree Star Arboretum, oh it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning, it's a beautiful paradise garden. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can go Game of Thrones hunting. It's not this Pokemon Go stuff, you go Game of Thrones hunting in Croatia, it's fantastic, I love it. We went up, went up there, blah, 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 and went to Split, another beautiful place. Not as nice as Dubrovnik. Well, nothing could be as nice as Dubrovnik. Um, but Split was very nice. Went to lots of beaches and um, Game of Thrones hunting and um, other bits. Then we went up, 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 all the way up. Um, went to the Plavitsi Lakes. Gorgeous place. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful waterfalls. Absolutely stunning location. Um, wonderful day out. Gorgeous. Um, national parks are gorgeous. We went to Kirka um, National Park, also fantastically gorgeous. You can see them there as well, lovely, nice one. Um, and then uh, we went to Bosnia and Herzegovina for a day. We went to a nice valley waterfall, gorgeous stunning location there. Um, and we went up, 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 all the way into Slovenia. Slovenia, another beautiful country. Um, we went to Ljubljana, uh, very nice, Ljubljana. Um, very gorgeous place there. Um, did lots of ferns and got entered. I um, I I completed the uh, the temple. Um, this is this game we had to play, kind of like um, Crystal Maze. Um, we had to go through the temple and solve problems. It was in this person's house, and we got in. Uh, and me and my partner won, and we completed the challenge, and we are now brothers of the dragon of Ljubljana. So I can say that I'm now part of a secret society of intelligent people. Um, of the um, the society of Ljubljana, of the dragon in Ljubljana, and that was really good. Um, went to the whittled down, went to the beautiful cave systems, gorgeous cave systems. Um, one Ljubljana, one some the one near Ljubljana, Pudoina or something like that, and then the other one um, down further down. Then we went to Trieste for a day. Went to the concentration camp. Um, very, very, that affected me very much, going to that concentration camp. Um, made me feel really hard and hurt inside. And I really, I filmed in the concentration camp. So if you want to see the video of the concentration camp, um, message me below, leave a comment if you want to see the concentration camp. Um, I've got all the videos on my computer here. Um, and I'm whittling my way through them, so whatever you want to see really. Comment down below anything I've said that you want to see, because I've got most of it on video, and I can try and put that as my next video to upload, because um, I've got so many holiday videos, unbelievable. So any of the stuff that you like, you want to, you want to see, you're not going to see anything to do with the um, Blue Dog Crumb, because my camera got stolen. Um, so you can see anything split onwards, really. Um, and we went to... The concentration camp, very heart thrilled. I was really sad. I was nearly in tears. It was just so horrible um, hearing what happened and the stories and seeing the rooms where they were. It was just horrible. It was disgusting. Um, and then um, went to Trieste and went into Pula. Pula was very nice. Gorgeous places there. Porridge and Rijeka and went to the uh, Aqua Park, which I finished doing the video for that. So if you want me to upload the Aqua Park, then. Uh, comment below because that video is done and ready to go so if you want to watch the aqua park video you can comment down below and you can see that um yeah such stunning locations beautiful places um croatia gorgeous country go to croatia i uh, went to montenegro as well very prehistoric and um, very mountainous that was the first thing we went to um montenegro very mountainous um gorgeous mountainous like go stepping in back in time it's just gorgeous it's like a jurassic park moment it's gorgeous. And then all the islands as well. You can go to all the islands. I went to La Crum and then went to um, Bruni Island, Tito's Island. Gorgeous there. I went driving in Tito's Island. I went cycling around Tito's Island. I went swimming nude in Tito's Island. I went swimming not nude in Tito's Island. Um, did everything. Now that video is ready to go. It's about 20 minutes. But it's got, I've got I, if you want to see that, I've got edited because it's got bits of bums and bits. Unless you want to see bums and bits. Um, yeah, but that is Croatia, that's what I've been doing, and uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed me reminiscing about my holiday in Croatia, it was a gorgeous place, and 
want to see in those videos, comment below. Okay, thank you. See you. Goodbye.